All right, and welcome back to the White House Farm. Uh, we're back at the place that we replaced the broken chlorinator, uh, the piping. Um, what he has going on now, when he got everything all hooked up together, he noticed that his return was leaking. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take apart his return. I got an extra one here just in case uh, he might have a crack in his or something. Remember, these are plastic and we are in the Northeast, so they do crack and break, so I got an extra one of them. And then I got the three gaskets that we're gonna be replacing um, to begin with. So let's get back there, get this thing apart and take a look. So here's the return and you could tell just by looking here, look at, there's his old gasket and look, it's, it's just falling apart. So that's where he's having the trouble from. So let's go ahead, we'll disconnect this, actually disconnect the chlorinator and then we'll go ahead and take this off and we're gonna inspect everything and you wanna check and uh, see if there's any rust spots or any holes or anything, any pitting in the, in the actual wall and then check the plastics and see how they're doing. Okay, so we got that line off. We can finish taking this off now. Oh, there goes the little gasket. Yeah, that sucker was just crumbling. Now there should be another gasket in between these two. Yep. There we go. There's the one that's in between the liner and the wall. And then, oh yeah, look at that. And there's the inside gasket. So that was shot. Yep. So we'll replace them. You just want to inspect this, make sure there's no cracks or anything. And it looks pretty decent. Get the old gasket off of here. And this is what you want to inspect. Make sure there's no rusting or pitting or anything like that. You got a little bit of surface rust there, but the wall looks really good. And, <laughs> and there's our three new gaskets. So let's go ahead and get them in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this one here. And let me show you the inside of the pool, what it looks like. Can you see the hole there? That's why it's important that you drain this down. Um, that way you can get everything in there. So we got the new gasket on. So we're gonna put that through. And then we're gonna push back in a little bit here. And we're gonna put our new gasket in between here make sure you get it on there because if you drop it in between the wall then <laughs> you'll be having to get a new one Just make sure that it's sealed all the way around. It's not bunched up. And then now we can put this gasket on. Get it all the way around. And now we can put this back on. actual gasket now and <laughs> that other one was disintegrated and 
You want to make sure that when you're turning this, you got to look at the liner because you want to hold this still so you don't wrinkle up or bunch up the liner. <laughs> so get down there hand tight first. And now, it'll tighten it up. And remember, it's plastic, so go easy. You want to hold the inside still. So that's on there good and tight and you just want to inspect make sure that your liner didn't shift or anything yep. see no wrinkles in the liner and the gaskets are nice and sealed that's nice and tight so now we can go ahead and get the return hose line back in there Teflon tape on there Pipe dope on there. So now we can get this back in there. And now uh, the owner actually wants, he wants two ball valves. He wants one on his return here and one on his skimmer. So we're gonna go ahead and actually install those for him as well. So we're gonna put one in. Let's cut that right about there. So we want to prime this end. We got our new ball valve. So we'll go ahead and connect this on here. So we need a little primer right here. And we're 
going to connect them together. So, some more glue here. Some glue on here. Open the glue on here. And then, them together. So make sure your ball valve can move. Make sure you didn't glue it. <laughs> So that's all set, that's open, that's all together now. Let's go ahead and put one on the other side now. All right, so. We're gonna cut right about here. It gets rid of any junk on it and opens it up so that way you can get a good seal with the glue. Okay, put some glue on here. And put some glue on here. That's why this coupling is on here, to give it a little bit more of a, a bend. Okay, so I'm gonna prime inside of here. Some more glue. Got the new new washers in for the return, new gaskets, all three of them. Got a return pipe back in. We installed a new ball valve for them on this side to cut it off. And then got a new ball valve in over here so you can cut it off. So, all right, it's 90 degrees and we're sweating like crazy. So we hope you guys like enjoy subscribe as usual share and share and we'll see you on the next one bye you can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me all right olaf we'll see you on the next one all right bye oboe bye guys <laughs>